Today in the battle arena, well, we've got Ahsoka Tano taking on Gamora. The daughter of Thanos is going up against the Padawan of Darth Vader. Sure, their masters might be evil and all powerful, but they're on the good side and pretty powerful all their own. So who's going to come out on top between these two highly skilled fighters? Using the 616 version of Gamora going up against a composite version of Ahsoka. What are they? That's what we're going to find out. What's up guys, this is Danko. I do fight breakdowns, power ranking videos, or more deep dives into your favorite characters and franchises with new videos every week. So if that seems great to you, well sit back and enjoy the video. Hit that like button if you want to, or hit the subscribe button while you're at it. Ahsoka Tano is a force sensitive Thagruta from the planet Shili. She was discovered as a child by Jedi Master Plu Koon, and so she was brought to the Jedi Temple on Coruscant for training. After the Clone Wars began, Ahsoka was assigned to train under Anakin Skywalker as his Padawan. However, after being falsely accused of a crime, she left the Jedi Order in order to follow her own path. And during the Age of the Empire, Ahsoka became a powerful agent of the Rebellion. Gifted with a powerful connection to the Force, Ahsoka has a wide array of powers, like sensing feelings and emotions, being able to glimpse into the future, incredibly heightened senses all around her, or of course, being able to mind control opponents. But in an actual fight, well her main power looks a lot like Force Telekinesis. She can throw opponents around like they're nothing, send them flying with a Force push. And this isn't just your typical stormtroopers or pirates or anything like that. Ahsoka can even force push on Inquisitors, or even Darth Vader himself, or even briefly match force powers against the Emperor himself. Of course, Ahsoka is also able to channel her force powers into herself, greatly increasing her strength, her durability, and especially her speed and agility. Ahsoka is strong enough to match up against and push back against General Grievous and Darth Maul and Inquisitors and Darth Vader. She's actually strong enough to go up against all four of those enemies. Ahsoka is also tough enough to take attacks from all those bad guys and she's still able to keep on fighting. She's able to take blaster bolts and keep on going. She's able to survive explosions and incredibly long falls. And while she's not perfect, she can be knocked out, Ahsoka is really able to take a ton of attacks and not go down. But where Ahsoka really truly shines has to be for speed and agility. She'll frequently use her acrobatic prowess during lightsaber combat, which is only further amped with her force abilities. And she'll use front flips, back flips, and somersaults to avoid enemy attacks with ease. That's just light work for her. She can easily jump around like it's nothing, just leaping all over the place, dodge all sorts of attacks, block blaster bolts with ease, and can keep pace with some of the best and fastest fighters in the universe. Darth Maul, Darth Vader, General Grievous, all of them. And that's just another thing, Ahsoka Tano is easily one of the best fighters and most skilled lightsaber duelist in the entire Star Wars universe. Ahsoka is a rather unorthodox fighter compared to other lightsaber users. She'll use a reverse grip in a fight. will often use her force acrobatics to jump around and dodge strikes. She favors a variant of Form 5 in fights, a lot like her master Anakin and is also a practitioner of Jarek High, meaning that she uses a smaller second lightsaber alongside her main lightsaber. She's also able to fight against whole groups of enemies all by herself. She can easily block whole swarms of lightsaber strikes or blaster bolts and is able to engage in some of the fiercest lightsaber duels you've ever seen against some of the fiercest lightsaber duelists you've ever seen. I'm talking the likes of Darth Maul and Darth Vader. 
everyone else at this point is just below Ahsoka in her mastery of fighting. She's able to take out multiple Inquisitors all by herself. Gamora is the last surviving member of her species, who were exterminated by the Badoon, basically space conquering aliens. However, Thanos found her and raised her, teaching her combat and altering her body so that he could use her as an assassin, but also so that she could get revenge on the Badoon. But due to being raised by freaking Thanos, having him as your dad, Gamora didn't just become the most dangerous woman in the galaxy, but she can also be pretty cold and ruthless. But due to her travels with the Guardians of the Galaxy, becoming a member of this new adopted family, well, she's become far kinder and lighthearted. Thanks to Thanos continuously experimenting on her, Gamora's strength, speed, and physicality has been greatly enhanced. She's way stronger, tougher, and faster than she might appear. Physically, she might just be around Spider-Man's level, but because of her incredible skill, she's able to consistently hurt people way outside of her weight class. Like she can kick the crap out of Captain Marvel a few different times. She can straight drop She-Hulk or even mess up Nova or Drax the Destroyer. Gamora is way stronger than she looks. She's also way, way faster than she looks too. I'm talking being able to completely dance around opponents like it's nothing, moving way, way faster than the eye can follow and appearing just like a blur as she runs all around. Even casually deflecting and dodging rapid laser fire. But maybe one of the biggest things going for Gamora here is the fact that Thanos gave her a dang near unbreakable skeleton, greatly increasing her durability, and Gamora comes with an amazing healing factor on top of it. She's able to survive punches and attacks that would kill pretty much any other fighter. She survived attacks from some of the toughest heroes and villains out there. She can take dang near any attack and not go down and keep on fighting. Gamora has even survived falling from outer space or being exposed to the heat of the sun. It's near impossible to really put this girl down. But of course, where Gamora really truly shines has to be her fighting skill. She's one of the Marvel Universe's premier martial artists, knowing all sorts of styles from across the universe, and has advanced knowledge in pressure points, nerve strikes, bladed weapons, and firearms. She knows exactly 83% of all the different combat techniques from across the universe. She can take on whole groups of enemies, or even entire armies, all by herself, but with just pure skill alone, she's able to fight against Asgardians, or even opponents with Hulk level strength. It's not an exaggeration to say that Gamora might be a top 10 best fighter in all of Marvel, and she's also an expert with nerve strikes. She can one shot a thing with a nerve strike, and even knows a nerve strike that can kill anyone not named Thanos. So, who's coming out on top here? Who's going to win it all? Well, let's break it down. Now, I'm going to start off here talking about equipment. It's kind of the big fat elephant in the room. I mean, for anyone who's competing against a Jedi, being able to defend and counter a lightsaber has got to be the biggest hurdle to overcome, especially against someone like Ahsoka, who's particularly gifted in lightsaber combat. Luckily though, as it just so happens, Gamora may have a weapon comparable to a lightsaber, the God Slayer. This weapon gets its name because it's so powerful that it can kill Asgardians. It's able to cut through just about anything, and on top of that, Gamora can split the sword into two separate blades, meaning that it can function a whole lot like Ahsoka's twin lightsaber combo. Basically, I'd say the God Slayer 
has just as much lethal striking power as any lightsaber out there. The question really is whether or not the God Slayer can block a lightsaber. Now it's kind of hard to find anything out there that actually says what the God Slayer is made out of, but you can theorize that because of its ability to kill gods, it might actually be made out of Uru, like Thor's hammer. And if not that, well then it could be something like adamantium or some other incredibly tough metal. But we still haven't seen any real strong evidence for what the sword is made out of or if it can even block something like a lightsaber. So we're kind of having to guess here. Now there is a metal similar to adamantium or uru in Star Wars called Eskar, a super strong metal that can hold up to most conventional weapons with ease, but lightsabers can cut right through it. Now, this isn't a direct apples to apples comparison. We don't know if Beskar is necessarily tougher than the metals over in Marvel. We don't even know what the God Slayer is made out of. But I think we can say that the God Slayer will be able to block some attacks on the lightsaber, but if they get into a blade lock, or if it takes too many attacks, lightsaber could begin to weaken it down and cut through it. I think that's fair. Now one thing we can say is that Gamora has a much more extensive arsenal than Ahsoka. She's got explosives and guns and she can combine all that with her sword fighting to give her an edge in the fight. But of course, this isn't really how Gamora prefers to fight. Her main weapon is her sword and she loves getting her hands dirty. So while she could hypothetically try and keep Ahsoka away, harassing her from a distance and wearing her down over time, she's more likely to try and engage her in a sword fight. And of course, this is how Ahsoka will prefer to fight too. So she'll try and close the distance and keep it tight. And besides, Ahsoka can block, dodge, and evade pretty much everything that Gamora does try and shoot at her. So I think it's likely this comes down to a sword fight. In there, I'd rather have a lightsaber than the God Slayer. So then what about their physicality? Well, both of them have similar physical abilities with superhuman strength, speed, durability, all of that. The Mora being enhanced by Thanos and Ahsoka being empowered by the Force. That being said though, no question about it. Gamora is the stronger one out of the two. Ahsoka is definitely strong and able to overpower some people, but Gamora can straight up knock around the likes of Captain Marvel. There's no contest here. Same with durability, an easy win for Gamora. I mean, sure, Ahsoka is tough enough to take some attacks and not go down, but not nearly the type of attacks that Gamora is just shrugging off. I mean, she's fallen down from outer space as fast as a meteor, and on top of that, has a healing factor that one time Wolverine said was nearly as good as his own. Now, don't know if that's truly the case, but do know that Gamora is tougher and harder to put down than Ahsoka. Now, when it comes to speed, I would say that they're roughly on par with each other. Gamora might actually be the faster one out of the two, like moving straight from point A to point B kind of speed. But I'd argue that Ahsoka might actually hold an edge when it comes to quickness and agility. She can easily dodge and block blaster fire directed her way to the point where she can be in the middle of a war zone with thousands of soldiers firing all around her and Ahsoka can just make casual banter while blocking all the attacks that are coming at her. She can fight against Darth Vader, Darth Maul, General Grievous. Every one of them has superhuman speed and agility that's only further enhanced either with the Force or with cybernetic limbs. While these two are pretty comparable, it's not like either of them just way outclasses the other, Ahsoka might just be a little bit more agile and rely on that agility just a little bit more. But the thing is, Ahsoka has so many additional powers and abilities with the Force 
outside are just amping her physicality. Powers that Gamora doesn't really have a clear answer for. Like her telekinesis. What's Gamora going to do about that? That telekinesis can be used to block attacks, disarm her, toss her around, and Ahsoka's already proven that she can do it with more powerful opponents too. And sure, Gamora might be tough enough to where just being thrown around or having things thrown at her isn't going to put her down for good, but Ahsoka could still just immobilize Gamora with the Force, essentially overpowering her even though Ahsoka is weaker. And on top of that, Ahsoka can still disarm Gamora, quickly removing the God Slayer from the equation. Plus, Ahsoka is able to create force shields. Even a force barrier that was powerful enough to hold back an attack from Darth Sidious. So that can kind of balance out Gamora's greater durability. Now, while I believe that Gamora is strong-willed enough to where Ahsoka's Jedi mind tricks probably won't do any good, one thing that we can see is that Ahsoka has the abilities of mind reading and precognition. Meaning that, for all intents and purposes, Gamora is fighting against Spider-Man with his spider sense here. Ahsoka's Force abilities are going to endlessly keep her just one step ahead of Gamora. Meaning that Gamora is going to have to work that much harder and be that much better in this fight in order to overcome the fact that the Force is telling Ahsoka every move that Gamora is going to make. Not saying it can't happen or that Gamora can't do it, just that that is a huge advantage to try and overcome, and so it will make it that much harder than normal. Basically, the Force is a huge advantage here for Ahsoka. So, last but not least, what about martial arts ability and fighting skill? While both Ahsoka and Gamora are very skilled in both armed and unarmed combat, I mean, like we said earlier, Ahsoka can compete against the likes of General Grievous, Asajj Ventress, Darth Maul, and Darth Vader. All easily some of the best and most powerful fighters of their day. But Gamora? Well, she's said to be one of the best martial artists in the whole Marvel Universe. And for as good as Ahsoka is, She's clearly not one of the best martial artists in the Star Wars universe. While Ahsoka's good, Gamora is great. She's mastered 83.4% of all martial arts across the universe. She's able to outfight the best throughout the whole galaxy. Ahsoka just can't really compare with this. On top of that, while Ahsoka has definitely been in her fair share of duels, she's been brought up and trained in the Clone Wars, meaning that a lot of her experience and focus has been more bent around war. Gamora is an assassin and a hunter, maybe the best in the universe, and she's got a lot more experience being in one-on-one -on -one fights. The edge and martial arts skill has to go to Gamora here. So, just to recap, Ahsoka has the better gear with her lightsaber, because I'm assuming that it's going to be able to cut through God Slayer at least a little bit. And while Gamora definitely has the better and more diverse arsenal, that's pretty much directly countered by Ahsoka's Force abilities. Gamora is faster, stronger, and tougher than Ahsoka, but a lot of that is evened out when you factor in the Force. And besides, it's a sword fight at the end of the day. It's not as much about physicality. Skill is one of the most important things here. And Gamora is definitely more skilled. She's one of the most skilled martial artists in all of Marvel. A lot like how Batman does in all of his fights, she can use that skill to overcome a lot of her shortcomings here. But I don't think it'll be quite enough to completely overcome Ahsoka. The Force a lightsaber is just a deadly powerful combination, and one that's really hard to win against. Ahsoka can force push Gamora all around. She can disarm her in an instant. She can use the force to block almost all of her attacks, 
And best of all, she can use the Force to see everything that Gamora is going to do throughout the fight before Gamora even does it. And when it comes to a lightsaber, well, I think it'll be more effective than the God Slayer and able to cut through the God Slayer. And if it can't do it right away, then I think it'll be able to wear through it over time. And with Gamora's healing factor, well, it's kind of hard to heal from lightsaber strikes as you lose limbs or get cut in pieces. That's a bit too much for even her. End of the day, this is a very close fight, and a fight that I could easily see Gamora win it. She's definitely powerful enough to do it. She's definitely skilled enough to do it. It wouldn't surprise me at all. But I think a lightsaber is more powerful than her own sword. I think Ahsoka's connection to the Force can negate a lot of Gamora's physicality. And Ahsoka definitely has a tremendous amount of skill of her own. I think I have to give the slight edge to her here. Ahsoka wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're going to have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you want to go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're going to see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.